right, man. Our Detroit Lions soft in the interior of their defensive line. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chances of notifications. We go live or drop the video. So some people are suggesting, some outlets are suggesting the Lions to add some more girth on the inside. They got like, <clears throat> excuse me, Lee McNeil, Levi Nazorki, Michael Brockers, um, John Penincy retired. Well, those are three main guys I could think of. They also supposed to be getting some contributions on the inside from uh, Josh Pascal, Pascal too, but you know he might miss the majority of training camp with a sports hernia. But um, <clears throat> but you know because they are you know use some more girth. I mean obviously you know um, they brought the kid in from the Stiller, so I guess he helped. An interior line as well too, but you know <clears throat> they got enough hands on deck. Um, you know, really, really, what they depending on? Well, even with Penis, he was more of a he was more of a penetrator to me, but he was a big dude. So, but most of you look at the the big run pluggers in the inside stop the run and all that. So that's what we all kind of like kind of look at but let's talk about it check out detroit lions talk playlist thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel next subscribe button it's the bell icon button hit all notifications increase chance notification but depending on what they playing is the question you know they're gonna play an even front i mean even or i i, mean, I don't know what to do for the Steelers. give you that's the question so just think about the, the name brand players. Just think about the name brand players that uh, I can think of. Yeah, they probably need another plugger in there. You know, but Michael Brockers, he he more, you know, he don't rush the passer like that neither. You seen that last year. He more of a run stopper. But they, they probably need another big fella in there, I would say. Um, I think they felt felt like they answered that question with the kid from the Steelers, whatever his name is. No disrespect, but they probably felt like they answered that question with that. But, but yeah, Anazorki is pretty much the key, though. <clears throat> his pass rushing, his penetration is going to be the key. And hopefully, they go back to a more four three four three front. Cause that's what Julian, I mean Romeo, was accustomed to. That's what Levi and Anazorki is accustomed to. You know, that way. That it won't be a big gaping hole. You know, were you able to put Brockers in there or pick McNeil, you know, move Aaron's working to the end and run stopping situation. So but they probably need another big run plugger, <clears throat> I would say. I won't per se say they soft. I think you got guys like Brocker, who who's a, like one of the more leaner defensive uh interior linemen out here. These dudes, people with Dearborn, I swear to God, I hate these drivers out here. But he more of a, um, to me, he more of a run plugger. But he not the big, big guy. You, you know, if they going to play 3-4, they need somebody behind McNeil who can play over the tap, who can play nose tap. So, that's the interesting thing about it. Um, they need somebody to play over the, uh, kind of another guy come in. Maybe if you're in 4-3 or goal line. Another big fella can help stop the run, but but as far as you know, one thing that they you know that they gonna get from getting Levi and Zorky back, they gonna get somebody that can that can penetrate. And that's important on, on both phases of run stopping or getting after the pass. You need a penetrator. And one thing Anzorki gonna get him is somebody to penetrate. He flashed some of that in preseason last year. And they miss and they missed that. They didn't get a lot of penetration from the inside. They got some penetration. They got back there from the edge. But they didn't get it from the inside. But with them linebackers being as weak as they is, they're gonna need as much help on the inside as they can get. They're gonna need as much help as they can get on the inside. So I also talked about them. They've been using Aiden Hudson on the inside as well too. But I look at Pascal and Hudson more inside players on known run down, on known passing downs. And known passing situations. That's what I look at them as. 
but I'm guessing the, the Steelers is the an, this guy from the Steelers is the answer to their big body concerns on the inside. Now, obviously, I don't have a list in front of me about who's available on the inside, but um, but one one thing you can't you, they're gonna be soft in the middle linebacker position. And the chances are they're going to be undersized at the middle linebacker position. If it's Barnes, if it's Jared Davis, if it's Malcolm Rodriguez. And the one thing you can't have happen, you know, when you have a shaky linebacker or an undersized middle, inside middle linebackers or, inside, or undersized linebackers, you can't lack size up front. You have to be big and physical and strong up front so they can roam free sideline and sideline, front and back without getting their jerseys, you know, dirty. You do not want the offensive line getting to the second level on a consistent basis. So they probably need to double up or triple up with another run plug. And that's maybe via trade, maybe a veteran get cut, but excuse me a little bit under the weather, but that's what they need to do. Because they linebackers are too questionable. They're too small. And it shouldn't even be a question them going into 34 defense this year. Jesus Christ, bro. These dudes. Just, ugh. It shouldn't even be a question about them going to 34 defense. It shouldn't be a question, bro. It, it should be 4-3. That's what this team built on. You don't have, a, you don't have a, the multiple inside linebackers to help you out. You know... Hutchin is better with his hand in his dirt. So, they, they should really be going to a 4-3. Off the sole purpose of that linebacker board. And also, your best players do better in the 43. They stood up Romeo last year, and he was utter trash. Shout out to Bubba Dub. Trash. A. Hutchin is better in a 4-3. Levon and Zorky is better in a 4-3. At a three technique. You know, the linebacker court is trash. So, me, this team is built for a 4-3 steal. Josh Pascal, he ain't that athletic enough where he can stand up, and he ain't big enough where he can play a 3-4 a and So, they have a 4-3 team. And I know they, they said we should be expecting more um, even fronts, which is four-man front, 4-3. Four, but they definitely, they definitely got to look at a little bit more doughy in them. They got a little bit more solid in the more middle. They definitely got to get a little bit more size in the middle. You know, Anazorg is the only pass rusher in the inside anyway. So, I mean, I think they, they actually going to be to back him up is Hudson and Pascal coming on the inside. That's going to be the, that's going to be the answer. What's your answer behind Aline McNeil? Michael Brockers, he's solid. But they need another 310 plus pound defensive lineman who gonna plug it up. So yeah, it's not a it's not a sexy position. It's not a sexy position that it's gonna get all the glamour talk and all that, but it's a position to need. a position of, of need. So, but yeah, they, they need some more help there. And, they, and the detriment of that, if your D-line don't step up, your weaknesses look even worse. Your strengths look like weaknesses. So, you ask your corners to cover one, two more seconds, three more seconds, That that's all the difference in the world. Offensive line and fullbacks getting to the second level and they're not eating up space. They're between a two-yard run or a negative yard run and a 20-yard, you know, scamper or a 30-yard home run touchdown. So, you know, you got to people gotta understand that. You know, it's gonna they're gonna be very important this year. Not only just stopping the run, but I think the biggest detriment on that defensive line that was missed last year, they, they they got the run stopping game together a lot of the season. 
You know, towards the end, beginning and the end of the season, started to falter a little bit, but they had a lot of injuries. And I thought they got enough pressure last year off the edge. I just felt they didn't get enough pressure on the inside. That's what I felt. They didn't get enough pressure on the inside. It's my opinion. And I felt when they didn't get any uh, pressure from the inside, I felt that uh, other offenses was start was starting was able to, you know, put more uh, to put more uh, attention on the edge and chipping the edges and leaving tight ends out there, and, and you know they was able to put more attention over there. So now if Anazork, he step up and he, you know, and Pascal and Hudson step up in situational uh, passing situations, excuse me, passing downs, and they get that penetration from them, that's going to open it up on the edge for, for everybody else. So, so that's important, but, you know, stopping a run is important too. So they can, they can use another big body in there. They can use another big body in there, but we'll see. The Lions always see their players in a different light than how we see their players. Always. They see their players one way, we see them another way. So we'll see. How they how they how they picture it out in their head is usually not how it play out. <laughs> but um yeah, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for the ancient one support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, check the link tree out. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All that information inside the link tree. It's the first link there. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls think. Peace.